So James, it's your birthday. It's time to play. Take your shirt off. Quit the day. Do whatever you want. Watch some flurn. Drink some beers. Now it's time to burn. Um, your shirt. I, I, I don't know. That rhyme didn't work out too well. Happy birthday, James. Well, I used to have a cool son, too. <laughs> you used to have a cool son? What <laughs> happened to him? I just met you. <laughs> oh, God. You're in trouble, Mom. <laughs> What a pair. Guys, welcome to Florin. This is part two on taking an old photo. It's only 27 years old though. That was, this is a photo of my mom. We'll show them what we did in part one. Okay. Look at that. Is that magic or what? Yeah, you did a really good job. God, I'm just magic. It's, it's amazing. amazing. <gasps> oh no. Let's make just, a stamp visible genetic. layer. Okay, we're gonna talk about, it is genetic, gotta get it from you. Yeah. We're gonna talk about, look, I'll just zoom in so you guys can see all the awesome detail here. You look like such a cool kid. Oh, I do. See, I can still do the eyebrow thing. What does that say? I fly, see, I live in a See, I can do the plane? eyebrow thing. Oh, that's very good. Yeah. You, you're like smizing, like Tara Banks, Tyra Banks, Tara Banks, whoever. Tyra, yeah. We're gonna be fixing all this creases up. So the best thing to do when you have this sort of thing, guys, is you want to rely on things like the patch tool, the healing brush tool, and the clone stamp tool. Now here's the difference between the three. The clone stamp tool just makes a direct copy of whatever you are sampling. So it's going to just sample this and do it directly. The healing brush tool is going to take the texture from wherever you sample and the color from wherever you paint and just try to blend those together. The patch tool basically is like the healing brush tool. It just does it on a larger scale and it works a little bit more complexly. Okay, so... Did that just blow your mind? Yeah. Okay. So I think I need the last one. You do. Oh my gosh, you're so good at this. The, the patch, tool. patch tool. Yeah. Yeah, because I have such a large surface to refinish. That's correct. Yeah. Not you, but the photo. So the patch tool, guys, if you are using the patch tool, make sure you do it on a stamp visible layer because it will not work on a blank layer. That's not that will bad. Will it work on my arm? It will work on your arm. In real life? Yep. Shift, okay. option, command, E. That's going to make a stamp visible layer. You can do that on your arm. Just hit shift option command E on your arm too. There we go. Oh, perfect. See, we got our patch tool here. Uh, I'm gonna click on destination. Basically, this tool is very awesome, guys. You just make a selection. Like I'm just drawing it with, you know, the, the brush. And you just click and drag this down to an area and let it go, it's gonna blend in. Now, it's on destination here. Let's just hit undo and I wanna make sure it's on source instead. So we're gonna click and drag this down and right about there, we let go and it gets rid of your scratch for the most part. Now, if you don't like so that. So it copied the good part? Yep. It eliminated the bad part and copied the good part. Exactly. Now you don't have to try to do the entire area at once. Like if you want to just do that part and. Well, in case you have color variation left or right. Wow, color vary, what? What are you, an art student now, Ma? You've been watching Flurn too much. Yeah. Jeez, color, you're making me look bad here. You can take care of like areas like that you know, so you don't have to try to take care of like an entire image at the same time. Now, yeah. if it's something that you don't necessarily like, like, you know, I didn't like that as much. All you have to do, it's not a big deal. You just make a selection around it again and just repatch it out. Um, if you do need to do any cleanup, you can go back in with the clone stamp. I'm going to just, we're going to do a little fast forward and that's where we're going to take care of all that stuff because the okay. shirt's not that important. This sort of thing, it can take quite a long time and it's just kind of like, it's how good of a job are you at like clicking this and putting it in an area that works. Now my advice for you guys is don't try to do like huge areas at once. Just try to like do what I'm doing and just take Why? care of. Well, you just have to match more up basically. Oh, okay. You know, like if I want to match this entire area up to here, that's going to be pretty yeah. hard, right? Okay. Yeah. But if I want to just match this little area up, I can just go right there and yeah. that's going to match. It's going to be a little easier. Yeah. So take it one chunk at a time. So you're going to take the stain out of the shirt too? <laughs> Did you be eating some ketchup that day? Yeah, I think it's... It's probably part of the photo. Pro probably part of the old age photo. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Now, if it's something that you can't do with a patch tool, feel free to use your clone stamp tool or something like that. Oh, I would. Okay. We're going to get into your face real quick. I'll skip ahead and uh, let's do, the, do your face. So the face, the thing that's hard about the face, it's a lot more delicate and you can't really mess this up. Not really. So, so it's harder because you can't mess it up? Yeah, well... You should, it is harder because you, can, you can't get away with as much being messed up. Like on a shirt, it doesn't have to be exactly right. 
You but, know what I mean? Yeah. But on a face, if it's not exactly right, like if it's just kind of like... Then it looks like you had yeah. surgery to remove spots of sun damage. Exactly. Yeah. So these areas like so the So the cheeks, plastic surgeons should really just do this and the heck with all that... I know. Cutting well, in stuff. the future, when we don't even leave our houses and we only exist on the internet, yeah, Photoshop is going to be a big business. Yeah, because you'll be get to like online fake date people, and you know they do that already. Have like cyber relations with them. Did you see how I used the word relations there? Yes, I did. I was very proud of you. That, that was for you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, we was having the cyber relations, and I tell you, all right, I'm gonna stop that story. Okay, thank you. So we're going to take care of all these little areas. And I'm still using the patch tool for all these. So just remember, guys, patch tool, just try to do the small stuff. And you can see it like it messed, messed your nose up there a little bit. So just kind of undo that and redo it. Okay. Now, for your eyes. Yeah, they're going to be tough. Those are going to be tough. Here's what I would do. I personally, and this isn't going to always be the easiest thing to do, but I would personally grab my brush tool and... Then with the brush tool, we can kind of paint in there the detail that we want. And then if we need any more texture on that, we could add more texture later with like a with the patch tool or with a clone stamp tool or a healing brush tool, something like that. All right, you want to see that? Yeah. Okay. So you're already looking a lot better, right? Yeah. Bonk. A little bit too light up there, but we can fix that. So with your eyes, we're going to make a new layer because we don't want to paint on this background layer. Okay. We're going to grab our brush tool, make this brush nice and small. And basically, we're going to use the sample and paint method, guys. So grab your brush tool. We're going to paint about 20%. Sample the color from where you want. So hit alter option. Like we want that to be an eyeball right there, right? Yeah, that'd be good. And now we just kind of paint in. Luckily, in these old photos, you're not really dealing with a whole lot of detail. You're, you're just not. There's not, you know. Is that because the technology wasn't that yep, detailed? Yeah, exactly. It's just, you know, there's these, they're not as sharp. And, you know, generally the, the scans don't contain as information. I mean, there were good cameras back then, for sure. But the scans usually don't contain a whole lot of information in the actual photo itself. What's a scan? You like scan this photo in, right? Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's just not, you know, you don't see every little pore here. So it makes it a lot easier to just get these away. And what I'm doing is just sampling this color here that's next to that little guy and painting it in. So if I want next something to, to look like... Next little girl. Oh, the little girl. Yeah. Yeah, I was saying the little guy is the scratch. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. So we can see just with a brush tool, we're able to do that. A lot. And it's not, you know, it's not perfect. And this is, this is something that's not incredibly easy to do because you have to basically repaint someone's eye. But when you're dealing with an area like this that has so much detail, it's very hard to just, you, you know, there's almost no detail here that is usable. So you kind of have to reconstruct all the detail. And whatever you method you use, whether it is like a patch tool or a clone stamp tool, something like that, whatever method you use, you're still going to have to reconstruct that detail. So this is where this sort of thing gets a little bit harder. But my personal preference is the brush tool, just because it allows me to sample these colors and paint them in, and I don't really wor have to worry about like... Um... Plus, that's so close up. You know, when you go back to the regular... Uh, version that has distance yeah you know automatically that looks just fine exactly yeah exactly so you know we could go in here and clean it up a little bit more you know maybe get rid of this scratch a little bit more in there not scratch and that one too yeah. like that. you don't like that I one I don't like that one all right so this is the technique we're using guys now I don't want to keep you on flurn for like another hour and a half but if I were to do like this photo and you know want to make it like baller good um, I'd probably spend about another 20 or 30 minutes trying to make it good um, because you will lose, especially if you're painting someone's eye, you're going to lose detail in their eye. You're going to lose like highlights and things like that. Yeah. The sparkle. The sparkle. The sparkle. <laughs> you got to go paint all that stuff back. Yeah. Because this is in Boston, so I need to have sparkle. Exactly. Boston has, Boston's where the sparkle lives. Yep. It's where the sparkle motion is. And I wasn't BJ back then. I was Bobby. You were Bobby? Bobby. Barbie? Bobby. I can't do like that. Like a Bobby doll. I can't do that. Bobby. Barbie. Barbie. Is the, tra is the English Is my mom's name Barbie? That's the English translation. Oh, yes. God. I know, but it embarrassed the heck out of me because... It's embarrassing me right well, now just talking about it. Because 
you know, my generation was when the Barbie doll was invented because the woman who made its daughter was named Barbie. Oh and her God. son was named Ken. Really? Yeah, you didn't know that? Is that your mom? <laughs> right. We wish. Did your mom invent Barbie? Uh, one. Not the whole series. Oh, she invented it at the store? Well, at the hospital. At the hospital? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that works. Yeah. So, if you guys remember from episode one, we basically, this area we used with a patch tool. Now I'm going back in here and just cleaning it up with the clone stamp tool because the clone stamp tool is just going to work a little bit better to get that edge. Yeah, you need the edge. Yeah, if you don't have the edge, you don't have anything really. All right. So those are our techniques on how to oh, clean up a photo. Oh, you need more edge right there. More edge right where? Right there. Right there. See those dots? You got to... Yeah. There you go. There we go. Now we got the edge we want. Yeah. The edge we desire. So oh, we're so edgy. We're looking pretty good, right? I mean, we have this right up there. Oh, and I that always there. did look good. I just had creases. That's true. But from our original photo, which is here. Oh my gosh. We've cleaned that up quite a bit. And you guys can see this isn't taking a lot of time. So I'm not going to waste the rest of your day. But basically, use those brush tools, things like that, for those small detail areas. Even if you have a mouse, guys, it's going to work. You just have to like take a little bit of time. If it's in an old photo, it's a lot easier than a new photo. For the larger areas, use the patch tool, and if you need to clean up like a transition, like we did for the shoulders, yeah. that's a great place for the clone stamp tool. If you guys have any questions for me or my awesome mom, let us know in a comment box below. We're going to help you guys out. Next episode, so cool, we're actually going to be taking the original distress information and we're going to be putting it on another photo. It's going to be awesome. Now, I'm going to go switch to you guys the end version of this so you can see that I actually did complete it. And... You're watching it right now, and it should be very beautiful. And that's Just like your mother. Just like my beautiful mother. Guys, thanks for watching Flurn. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.